and welcome back to Finally Revealed. In this episode, I want to talk about addressing a narcissist or, or psychopath or sociopath. And it's in response to a viewer question, or actually a viewer comment and question that this person said they've had it with these types of people and they're disruptive and why doesn't anybody take them on? And the person said that they're a fighter and they've just decided they want these people to see the type of damage that they do. And the question was, why don't people talk about fighting back uh, against these people and giving them a taste of their own medicine, as it were, or something like that? So health professionals say that psychopaths are born that way, sociopaths and narcissistic personality disorder people are made based upon trauma or abuse or other type of treatment as a very young child. And dealing with them personally or in work, we're not going to be able to change them, just the regular people who don't have specialized training. And they, most of the experts say, just walk away. You know, uh, number one, you're not qualified to deal with them. And my response would be that you, ha the thing that distinguishes you, one of the big things that distinguishes you is empathy and emotion. So, if one party, for example, if you've got, and I'm not saying these people are robots, so don't leave me a nasty comment like that, but if you've got a robot you're dealing with, and maybe this will come into when we get into artificial intelligence, I don't know if artificial intelligence will have a humanistic or emotional component, we'll have to find out. Uh, but if you're dealing with a, a machine that has no emotion, and you have emotion, and you are fighting back, or you are you know, standing up for yourself, asserting, or if you intend to harm them in some way by either creating a situation or showing them what they've done and, and trying to uh, punish them or, or make them accountable, at some point, because you are the one who has the emotion uh, or more empathy or empathy at all that they don't have, those triggers that you have are what keeps you from violating society's norms and from acting like they're acting. So at some point you're not going to be able to fight back and keep it going because they're not like you. And so the very thing that causes them or enables them or allows them to hurt you is what stops you from going at them. And so the victim, the person that's the victim in this situation, who's fighting back is damaged usually, or has been affected by this person such that they understand what this person is. And so they're not at their full strength already. And then to go against this person who doesn't care, doesn't care, doesn't feel, doesn't matter to them, it's not going to be a fair fight. So it's fruitless okay the next thing would be if you are a person the next reason why you wouldn't fight back would be if you are a person who either this this um npd person this narc or psychopath or sociopath has you, you recognize them because they violated one of your boundaries or tried to and if and now after you've encountered these people hopefully everybody out there you just the first time nope nope you don't go there goodbye and you you go a different direction um, but if they're trying to cross your boundary uh, and you stop them why are you going there was, would be no reason for you to fight back you just move on you move on go on with your life and you, you don't want to get involved with them anyway so just move on and then the third one would be if you have had some experience with them personally, professionally, in your family, now you're recognizing them, who they are and what, what they're all about, a lot of people would say, hey, I wasted a month, two months, six months, a year, a project, something, and everything got messed up or it wasn't how I thought it was or this compulsive liar and, and they manipulated everything and, and why would you want to continue that? Now, once you, you've identified you've wasted time, you're going to feel like that. You wasted time. You should have stopped it. Now you're recognizing that they're not the who they said they were or how you thought they were. And now you're going to go forward and just compound it. You're most likely going to just say, 
see ya. Check out, see ya, don't waste time. Now, um, then there's also repercussions back to you if you do try to do something, depending upon what it is, uh, at your office, at your home, at your, you know, why, why do this? So they don't have any empathy and sociopaths and psychopaths uh, can be very dangerous people. Why would you want to provoke them? So um, that's the answer there. And I hope this was helpful. If you have addressed these people in some way or you have a comment, please leave it below. If this was helpful, give me a thumbs up. If this helps explain it, you shouldn't feel weak if you're not going to fight back. Take care of yourself. Uh, fix your boundaries, observe them, make people respect them and live a happy life. That's what, you know, that's what we're all about. So leave any comments that you have below. Give me a thumbs up if this was helpful. Subscribe to see the other videos. Share this with somebody who may have asked you this question. Why didn't you fight back when they did da da da? And help, this might help you explain it to them. And come back and see me next time. Thanks for watching.